Hello friends, welcome back to another tip on how to stay warm in the winter as a raw vegan. Today, today we're going to be talking about not going too long without eating. If you're interested, stay tuned. So when you go too long without eating, your metabolism, metabolism, which helps keep your body warm, thinks that you're starving. And so therefore, it starts, you start feeling cold because you've gone too long without eating. And you know, this is not really just for raw vegans. This is even for people who eat the standard American diet. Because this used to happen to me even when I was eating cooked food. I would go long periods of time without, I would eat breakfast and then I would, you, you know, by the time I ate the next meal, it would be like six, seven hours later. And it wasn't that I was doing that on purpose because I just wouldn't get hungry, you know, so I would wait that long to eat my next meal. But it's not that I was doing it on purpose, but I noticed that when I did that, even with the standard American diet and of course with the raw diet or any diet for that matter, if you go too long without eating, you 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 will start feeling cold. I remember I would get like chills, like I could I kind of felt like I was gonna get sick. You know you you know how when you're getting you're gonna get sick, you start getting like chills all over your body. That's kind of how I would start feeling. But as soon as I would start eating, I would feel better immediately, and that's how I knew that. You know that it's because I went too long without eating. So we don't want to do this because this can make us get cold and this is one thing that we're trying to avoid especially if we're trying to do the raw diet because you know um i know me for myself i don't like to be cold i'd rather be hot and sweaty than to be cold anytime so i don't know if you're like that too but that's the way i am and i don't want to be cold especially in this lifestyle and I, that used to be one of the reasons why I thought that it was going to be so hard going 100% raw was because oh everything was going to be cold, cold salad, cold smoothies, cold this, cold that. And I was like, I, I don't think I can stand living a lifestyle where everything that I eat is going to be cold. And friends, it doesn't have to be like that. If you watched my last video, you know you can warm things up. You can warm them up to 118 degrees. Past that, you'll be, you know, killing the nutrients of your food, but you don't want to do that. And I never let it go that, even go that high, whatever it is that I'm warming up. But I do warm up, and you can warm up your foods. So, this makes it more sustainable to be able to stay on this lifestyle. So what I do now in order to avoid this from happening is I always make sure that I eat my breakfast lunch and dinner always maybe like three to four hours apart and in between I eat snacks. I don't always eat snacks but I do like to, to eat the snacks. If I'm hungry I will. If I'm not I'm not going to do the snacks but I always try to make sure that I never go six, seven you know or more hours longer than that without eating. I don't like to do that. You know unless of course you know I'm sleeping then that's a whole different story you know. But, um, and I try not to eat too late at night, but again, don't go too long without eating because this will make you cold. So by doing this, by eating on a more consistent, more, uh, your hours not so far apart from the time that you eat, when you start doing this, your body will start to regulate and you'll start to burn more uh, calories because you have the calories to burn and this will help to keep you warm. And that's what we want, right? We want to stay warm. Yes, we do. Okay, so this will help with that. So I usually like to have my breakfast maybe an hour or two after I wake up in the morning. I like to have my breakfast. Then after that, I wait about three to four hours. Then I have my lunch. Then another three to four hours after that, I have my dinner. And sometimes, like I said, in between I will have snacks, but not always. Then, later, like after dinner, maybe like mm, an hour or so, maybe two hours later, I like to have 
a tea, a warm tea, especially in the winter. Or sometimes I'll have like some warm cocoa or something like that. And yep, yeah, that's about it. That's the way I space out my lunch, breakfast, dinner in order to avoid getting that cold feeling like I'm gonna get sick because my body is like, okay, are, are we starving here? <laughs> What's going on? Okay, we don't wanna do that to our body. So don't remember, do not eat, take so long to eat in between meals. And this will really help you to stay warmer in the winter. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this tip on how to stay warm in the winter as a raw vegan. And really, this is a good point for any, you know, no matter what diet you're doing, even if you're on the standard American diet. Because like I said, this used to happen to me even on the standard American diet. But I hope you enjoyed this tip. If you did, don't forget it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay tuned for my next video. Enjoy and have a good one. I love you guys.